Hello and welcome to another Roaming Norway YouTube video. Today we are in the BMW i3 again and I want to talk about route planners. This car has a terrible route planner and your old uh, electric vehicle might as well. This video will apply to all, almost all older electric uh, vehicles that are available on the market. So if we go into the inbuilt route planner that we have uh, here and do a quick uh, uh, search. Searching for Oslo. Let's just uh, choose... Uh, yeah, it doesn't even show the city here. <laughs> it shows uh, things on the Oslo road. So, yeah, the route planner sucks and it won't get you to the destination. Uh, it will show you some wrong charging stops. So, yeah, I, I want to enter new destination. Quick search. Uh, okay, yeah, well... It gives me, you need to search by the road, which is the old way of doing uh, GPS. Anyways, I'll just choose this city because I know it's far away. So let's see what the route planner says. Re remember, electric range insufficient. Charging station search. Yes, please. I want to get to this destination. It's raining like crazy right now. Uh, okay, and here it'll tell me, okay, <laughs> You need to choose one of these ones. Let's choose this one. Okay. And add as intermediate destination. So we will stop by this one. And uh, we will apparently get to our destination. But I doubt it. I doubt we will actually get to our destination. So, let's try something else. Let's try uh, to use our phone. And you can use it on your phone or you can use Apple CarPlay which is available for me uh, here. And I'll show you the Apple CarPlay version first. So you can see that we have Apple CarPlay here. And you can see that we have our state of charge here. Our state of charge is 97% but how do, uh, does we how do we get the state of charge from this location to Apple CarPlay or to our phone? They don't talk to each other. Well, we use this little thing. This is an OBD Link uh, CX, which is a Bluetooth low energy module uh, OBD reader. So it has Bluetooth low energy. It's important that it's this one. This one works the best. I have tested multiple OBD links and multiple OBD readers. This one works the best. So you saw when I removed this one, you can see that uh, our uh, state of uh, charge is disconnected from Apple CarPlay and from the app Abedder Root Planner. So. I'll just place the module back. Once we do so, we should re uh, regain um, the connection pretty fast and it's back. Live, uh, live state of charge into a better route planner, which is the app uh, we use. And you will also use this app on your uh, phone if you, uh, yeah, let's say that uh, you, uh, want to just use your phone, this is the exact same app. It's a better route planner. So, what's great about a better route planner is that it uh, takes the vehicle actual consumption in and gives you an accurate uh, charging stop. Okay, we are here in a better route planner. Let's see if we can remove the flimmering of the screen first. Okay, there, we have no uh, flimmering, nice. Okay, um, very low shutter speed now. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see, we want to go to... We have Trondheim here. Trondheim is far away, so that's nice. Let's choose this one. See how fast it takes and if it does everything automatically. 45 minutes stop, 39 minutes stop and 39 minutes stop. And that's the stop times for this vehicle. It makes sense. It's not a stupid uh, thing to do. And we take uh, press and start here. We can see that we have uh, an estimated arrival of 90 
sorry, we have now 97% and we have an estimated arrival of 15% at our uh, destination. Sorry, our first charger, which is Aurelan Supercharger. This is uh, super nice. We can also uh, choose information here to see how long we need to stay at that uh, charger, which is 45 minutes. You can see that uh, 8 of the 12 chargers are available. And we can jump to the next charger and see 39 minutes at Baito Sterling, Tesla supercharger as well, from 14 to 89% in 39 minutes. Makes sense for this car, there are the absolute correct numbers. And the last charging stop, it's Dumbos, Norway, 21 of 23 available, 21% to 95%, there 39 minutes. So this will actually get us to... Um, Trondheim and the, in bul uh, the built in route planner wouldn't even have the newest chargers, it wouldn't choose the correct way, so it would be super stressful to drive for at least someone that's not used to driving an electric car. So, this new integration with uh, a better route planner and uh, the OBD Link CX OBD reader uh, is just fantastic. And you can see we have Apple CarPlay there, and my phone looks like this. So my phone has kind of more information, but uh, yeah, it shows 97% and that we will arrive with 15% at our first charging stop. And uh, these are the next ones. Uh, it'll sh uh, show all the charging stops. It'll also show the connection status. Uh, this will show here as well. Green, green means it's connected. And we get a lot of other information here as uh, well. Calibrated reference consumption is 138 watt hour per kilometer, which is correct. Degradation is uh, set to 4%. Actually, the degradation of this car is 8.6, so I might adjust that to get a more accurate number. And I've driven around with a weather route planner like this and it's super accurate a little bit conservative but I have videos where I've driven this uh, with uh, a better route planner but now I have the new OBD link CX which gives a much better connection so this is an awesome feature for your electric car if you don't have good built-in route planning Another thing that I recommend if you are going on a long trip with the BMW i3 or any electric car that doesn't have this is uh, try to find some third party flaps. This makes DC fast charging much more easy uh, and faster. So that's recommended. These are not standard from the car. I just uh, installed them myself. So absolutely recommended. I'll link them in the description below.